long time no see so a lot has changed i've been pretty busy and stuff like that but got me this little slider um 335 was it 09 uh lci with uh heated seats pretty basic someone no sports package i'm pretty much here fixed it up and today heading to the junkyard going down there to see if i can find a window regulator and um i have some uh sensors and some miscellaneous stuff so just gonna go out there and see what i could find and if anything good all right so just picked up some cold brew and yeah the cup holder actually works actually no it doesn't i had to like finagle with it real quick to get it in i get it out but this one works perfectly but yeah it's a little workaround hack so i'm gonna have to get a replacement for this one it's like the typical E90 or so I say E90, E92, E93 or E series um car problems. So yeah, gotta fix that too. Alright, junkyard life, we're here. Um a lot of nice looking stuff so far. But gotta go like a whole way down just to get to the Euro stuff. So we shall see. Alright, so found this LCI. Looks pretty clean actually just pulled up and I found a window regulator. Looks like it's been, look like it should be good. So easy peasy, got this thing out, like this whole panel was never removed and everything went out pretty smoothly. So I'm happy. So hopefully install this and it should be working properly. Time to get to work. And I haven't been over here since I bought it and dang, yeah, forgot about this. So I gotta get a whole new piece of this trim. And yeah, get this bad boy retinted. But for now, I can take all this stuff out. I guess they use some wood pry. Oh gosh. Took off this piece right here. Uh expose the bolt here. And I got another one over here. And I see why they use electrical tape, because it matches with the black, but with all the heat and stuff, this thing is like, ugh. Oh. Look at that. It's like melted tar and stuff underneath this. All right, so I got the door card off and all that. And lo and behold, like somebody was up in here. This thing is like all loose. I could take this out by hand. What the heck is going on over here, man? This is some BS. Yeah, you can see the regulator is jacked. Typical string is hanging off to the side. So I'm gonna bust these bolts right here and then just take it out and swap the new one in. This one is trash. I don't even think the motor might be good, but throwing this whole thing away. But put this one back in and gonna go ahead and finish vacuuming up in here. Cause the last thing I hate is when you turn the music up and you hear the doors like rattling. And it's gonna like irk me real bad. Alright, so pre mocked up everything and got the connector piece right here. So I'm gonna use this and control so it works. Getting power. I gotta reinitialize it later, but let me see if it catches on to the window. And it has. So we good. Just have to initialize it so it could do the auto up and down. So down is auto good. Now to just bring it up. Yeah. Up, up ain't working. But we'll fix that later. So now we can just put everything back up together now. We are cash out, so right? our favorite tool here. So Pro Tools, interior. And then I believe it's yeah, junction box. Function and then functions. Yeah, initialize windows. Confirm. Good. Yep. Both of them dropped. Came down. Seems to be a success. So let's try this. Automatic. 
you good to go. So easy peasy, we done with this project. All right, so next time I'm gonna tackle next video is this. And pretty much just telling me that the coolant level is low. So the coolant level is not low. I checked it, um, drove it around, did a pressure test on the whole system. So no coolant is leaking or anything like that. So more likely it's just the sensor. So I'm all, dang, I should have picked up a sensor today. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I think I got a sensor laying around somewhere in the garage, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it in and see how it goes. So after doing the coolant sensor, I'm gonna go ahead and try to like track down what's leaking and what's not. So more than likely it's gonna be the valve cover gasket. I'm pretty sure of that. I seen a little bit of weeping and you could kind of smell it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and definitely change that and coil the spark plugs. I stepped into this thing and it's like no hesitation, nothing like that. So more like it's on stock boost and all that stuff. So you really won't not feel much of anything. Just gonna go ahead and check that part out. But other than that, it's been working pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to wash this car up right now, clean it up a bit. And I'll see y'all in the next video.